Morning guys, this is Sechao Ke. I'm a professional teacher for accounting. If you're watching this, you're definitely at the right place. Please make sure that you subscribe to our YouTube channel by hitting that subscribe button down there. And also make sure that you share this lesson with your friends. Today, we're going to be looking at closing transfer as well as preparing the trading account and the profit and loss account. I'm just going to try and show you the best way you can deal with this without wasting too much time. But I'm going to be a little bit in detail as I explain this so that um, this can serve as a foundation when we go and do the income statement. So please pay attention. Make sure that you watch this lesson as much as you can until you understand. With that out of the way, let's go to our lesson. Now here it is saying that um, we need to make general entries for closing transfers and this after that we need to prepare the following accounts in the general ledger capital account, trading account as well as profit and loss account and then lastly we need to draw the post losing trial balance but for me I'm only going to end on the profit and loss account post losing trial balance I will do a separate lesson for it so that this lesson doesn't become very long okay now here we are given information and we are told that our year ends on 28 february 2020 2012 which means that the beginning of our year will be uh, the first of march 2011 okay and if you look at this you don't have any adjustments you just need to do the closing transfers now for you to be able to do the closing transfers you must be familiar and comfortable with the 10 steps of making closing transfers and we covered that in lesson number eight so if you don't know them by heart you are going to have a problem when you do the closing transfers so please make sure that you practice those 10 steps and you know them by heart so let's get into the lesson now remember guys um the first step that we must do, we must transfer our debtors um, allowance to sales. So when we transfer our debtors allowance to sales, what we do, we debit sales and we credit our debtors allowance. Remember guys, I said that when you do closing transfers, what is normally debited, you credit. What is normally uh, credited, you debit it. Okay, so you must keep that in mind. So remember, when we do closing transfers account, uh, closing transfers for the tax allowance account affected is sales and uh, the tax allowance. So in other words, here, what we are going to do, we are going to say, we are going to debit our sales. So we're going to say um, debit sales and then we are going to credit uh, the tax allowance. Okay, and then... Um, when we give a narration, we are going to say that this is for closing transfers. Okay, so we need to check what is the amount for the task allowance because it is the one that we are closing off uh, to sales. So we are going to check it here. And then the amount according to here, the, the amount for the test allowance is 21,440. So which means that that 21,440 will come here. So we'll say debit by 21,440 and then credit by 21,440. And then this is the step you are now done with this. And then from there, the next step that we are going to do, we are going to close off our sales to trading account so in other words what we are going to do we are going to debit our sales so we'll say debit sales and then we are going to credit um trading account okay so we'll credit trading account and then remember we must check what is the amount for our sales so here when we explain we are going to say that this is a closing transfer because remember you are doing closing transfers at the end of the year so now let's go and check what is the amount for sales but remember you must deduct this that has allowance so that you can get your net sales okay so our, our sales according to this is um two million seven hundred and one thousand four hundred and forty so we're going to say that that two million um seven hundred and one thousand uh two million seven hundred and one thousand four hundred and forty then we say uh subtract our um the test allowance which is twenty one thousand four hundred and forty so that it can give us our net sales remember here our main focus is getting our net sales so let's see um two million uh, seven hundred and one thousand four hundred and forty then we say minus um twenty one thousand four hundred and forty um it is giving us 
uh, 2,680,000. So therefore, our net sales is going to be uh, 2,680,000. So that 2,680,000 will come here and then we will then credit also by 2,680,000. And then from there, you have fulfilled the second step. Then next, the, th the third step says that we must uh, close off our cost of sales to trading account. So in other words, what we are going to do um, we are going to say, um, we're going to say that we are going to debit our profit and loss. Okay. I mean, sorry, our trading account. So we're going to debit our trading account. Then we credit, uh, our cost of sales. Because remember I said that when you, you close off, you do the opposite. What was normally debited is credited. So we're going to, um, to debit our trading account. We're going to say debit trading account and then uh, we credit cost of sales okay and then when we, we give it an explanation we are going to say that we were doing a closing transfer and then we can check uh, how much is our cost of sales so our cost of sales according to this our cost of sales is um one one million six hundred and seventy five thousand so that one million six hundred and seventy five thousand will be written here one million um six hundred and seventy five thousand and then one million uh, six hundred and seventy five thousand and then from there what we need to do we need to make sure that we transfer um our gross profit to a profit and loss account now in order for you to be able to do that you must then check okay you must then check um whether you are making a profit or a gross loss before you do that transfer so that uh, you don't make some silly mistakes so let's check if we say remember our net sales is two million six hundred and eighty thousand so if we say two million six hundred and eighty thousand and we say uh, subtract one million six hundred and seventy five thousand Uh, it is going to give us uh, 1 million and 5,000. So meaning that this is our gross profit. So what are we going to do? We need to make sure that we write this in a way that it makes sense. It shows that profit and loss is an income. And we know that incomes on profit and loss account increase on a credit side. So what we are going to do, in other words, we are going to say debit trading account. So we will debit um, trading account debit trading account and then we will say uh credit uh we are going to credit profit and loss okay so how are we going to do that we check our amount remember we said it's one million and five thousand so we read that one million and five thousand here one million zero zero Remember, it's one million and five thousand. So that one million and five thousand um, will come here. Then from there, we explain that this is a closing transfer. And then you are done with the transferring of that profit. Now, remember, guys, as accounting student, you must be very wise in terms of how you manage your time. In this question, you are also required uh, to do your trading account so now what you can do you can just simply make sure that you transfer this information that we have written so far to your trading account just so that you can save time and then from there when we insert our incomes and expenses it will be very easy for us to do that so let's check remember um our trading account is this one here so we're going to come here remember we said that um we are going to have cost of sales on the debit side so we're going to say um on 28 um february on uh 2012 february and then the 28 here would have um cost of sales and remember we saw this in the general journal and then we said our cost of sales was one million um six hundred and we said it was one million six hundred and seventy five thousand so that one million six hundred and seventy five thousand will come here okay and remember after that we said that on the credit side we are going to have um our sales so we'd say um 2012 
um february um the 28th then we would have our next sales here and then this is from the general general you take the one that was closed off to the that uh, that the one that we closed the tax allowance to which means the final net sales which is two million six hundred and eighty thousand then that two million six hundred and eighty thousand will come this side okay and then from there all we need to do is to determine the gross profit or gross loss then you can see already that on the bigger side uh we have the bigger side is the credit side so we'd have um two million six hundred and eighty thousand here and then also this side would have um two million six hundred and eighty thousand okay and then here we are going to have a profit and loss if we make a profit that the profit and loss will be written on the debit side of a trading account so meaning that you can see this side is more than this side so we're going to have um profit and loss here and this is from the general general remember that difference that we had there of one uh how much was it one million and five thousand right so that one million and five thousand will come here one million zero zero five thousand will come here then from there we take the same information we transfer it to our profit and loss remember uh, we debited trading account so we must credit profit and loss so we come here and say um on 2012 um february the 28th we will have trading account and then we write that this is from the general journal and then we write that one million um and five thousand and then you are done so you already have some couple of months you won't get zero for this so you'll know that even if it happens that you don't finish at least you have some couple of months and then the other thing that you can also make sure that you do is to insert your capital balance since that information was given to you so what you need to do is that you need to make sure that you check what was your capital balance your capital balance according to this is uh 187,310 so you're going to insert it here so we're going to say that on the 1st of March remember the beginning of the year is March so we're going to say uh here we're going to say um 2011 March and then the first then our balance brought down according to this they said that our capital balance was uh 187,310. So that 187, uh, 300, 187, 310 will come here. Okay. So very important for you guys to understand how these works. Now for you to master this, like I said, you will need to be very good with your ledger accounts as well as the general general. We thought that it's going to be a problem. So let's continue with our lesson. Now, now that we have transferred our uh, we have transferred our the part of the gross profit we now need to work on all the incomes and expenses that we are going to have now when you deal with your expenses remember that profit and loss is going to be debited and then those uh, expenses are going to be credited so we are going to say here um debit uh, profit and loss debit profit and loss okay and then we are going to credit all the expenses that we are going to to have remember you are going to debit profit and loss by the total of those expenses and then here you write those individual expenses here so let's start the expenses that we have remember guys um when it comes to this i'm going to highlight the things that you are not going to use so we have already um what we need to do is that we need to highlight what was used so you already used your sales you used your cost of sales you have used your the task allowance right so meaning that everything else here and maybe what i can do i'm going to highlight the ones that we are going to use in green um all our expenses i will highlight them in green but you know that expenses are going to be on the debit side okay so now if you look at this the first expense that we have is discount allowed 5960 so i'm going to start by it um discount allowed discount allowed and then it's five thousand 
960. Then we go to the next one. The next one that we have, so this one I can highlight it to say we are done using it. Next is insurance 14,400. So we have um, credit insurance, insurance, and then the amount is um, 14,400. And then after that, we can go to the next one. We have, um, we have rent expense 50,400. So I'm also going to credit um, rent expense. And then the amount is 50,400. And then the next account that we are going to have, that we are going to credit another expense that we are going to have, um, we are going to uh, say um, stationary 2,424. So we'd have debit um stationary uh 2424 okay and then next we are going to check what else do we have um we have telephone for 12,408 so i will say also um credit telephone Can't remember the amount the amount according to here was um 12,480 so we'd have that um 12,480 here and then from there we are going to have check what else are we given we have um water and electricity for 11,996 so i'm going to write it here i'm going to credit um water and electricity for 11,996 and then from there I'm going to check what is the last expense that I have I have wages for um, 464,000 then I'll be done with my expenses okay so I'm going to have um, wages for 464,000 so we have um, credit wages um, for 400 then 64,000 then from there you are done so all you have to do is to check remember uh, the total of this uh, you'll be will be what you'll put on it will be the total on profit and loss of these expenses so what we can do we can simply add them here and then here I will say that um the reason why I did this was because I'm doing closing transfers Okay, then from there, what you can also make sure that you do. So remember, um, if you add the total of this, but the most important thing is that they know um, you said that a uh, profit and loss is going to be debited by this amount. And that's what we are going to do. So you don't necessarily have to um, put that total, but I always advise learners to put that total for safety measures. But for now, because I'm running out of time, I'm not going to put that total. I will only totalize these things when I do the profit and loss account. And remember guys, I said in accounting, you need to work uh, to know how to work simultaneously. So immediately I'm going to go to my profit and loss and enter those things that I was telling you. Now, remember in your profit and loss on the debit side, this is the debit side. And then this is your credit side. On the credit side, you're going to put all your incomes, uh, including the, excluding the ones that are in relation to gross profit so meaning that because why you have already calculated that gross profit so there's no need for you to include it here you're going to include other operating incomes and also your interest incomes here and then here on the debit side you're going to put your expenses uh excluding the ones that are in relation to the gross profit okay so we can still go there and check what we have as we were doing just so that you can save time so we are going to look there remember we are only entering the green ones so we start um we have this count allowed here so the first one remember it's going to be um 2012 uh february 28 right then we are going to have i think it's discount allowed discount allowed and remember this is in the general journal and then according to there that discount is 5960 so i said i'll debit my profit and loss so i'm doing that 5000 
960 and then the next expense that we have um it's uh what else do we have here is um insurance for 14,400 so we have that insurance here um insurance and then in the general journal and then the amount 14,000 400 and then from there you move to the next one what do we have now we have our a uh, rent expense for 50,400 to so include it okay so rent expense and general journal and then 50,400 and then from there you check what else do we have we have um stationary for 2,424 so you write that stationary um stationary for in the general journal for 2,424 and then you have recorded this then you proceed with what is next then remember you also have um telephone for 12,480 so you also write it um telephone Um, for 12,408 and then from there you proceed uh, with what uh, whatever that you'll be given then after that we have water and electricity for 11,996 so you are going to proceed with it um, water and electricity general general is 11,996 and then you check what else are you given you are given um wages for 564,000 so you can include that okay so we'd have our wages uh general general then we know um this is for 464,000 okay so guys you must really uh, be very careful when it comes to this look at how um these things have been done for you okay now study this guys it will really help you then from there what you're left with is to just make sure that you go to your um your 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 income so you check what is on the credit side this one is not that bad you only have two two incomes so you can't fail to transfer uh two incomes guys come on okay so now what are we going to do when it, we come to this um we are then going to say that we are going to credit profit and loss but remember you must write that in the general journal so we're going to uh, then debit all our incomes we need to check what is given to us what is the income that we are given so the first income that we have here is our discount received 6420 so we're going to write it here um discount uh, received then we write that's how much um, they said it's 6,420. So remember, it must be on the debit side. So 6,420. Okay. Then we check what else must we debit. I saw we also had something. I can't remember what it was. We also have um, our interest on fixed deposit, 8,270. So that's what you are going to write. So we're going to say debit um, interest on um fixed deposit and then remember that amount is um 8270 so that 8270 is going to come here okay and then from there what must we do we debited this one so we must credit um profit and loss but remember you are going to credit by credit it by the total of this so i'm just going to add this um 6420 plus uh 8270 8270 and then it is giving us 14690 so remember it is the sum of the two now even here you must do the same thing here you must uh, debit this by the total of this so you guys are going to add this so that you can at least participate by force then uh, from there you are going to explain that when you were doing this um you were doing what we call the closing transfers so i'm going to write here that there's a closing 
transfers okay then you will most definitely get as many marks as possible then from there you need to remember that there's a then then maybe just to save time what you can then do you need to check or, or that um what do you need to insert on the credit side of profit and loss so remember we must enter this discount so we can go back to our profit and loss enter discount and interest on fixed deposit okay so we are going to check on that um our income we have discount received so i'm going to enter it here um discount um received and i'm going to say in the general journal and remember our amount according to the is um 6420 so that 6420 um, will come this side and then next we have interest on fixed deposit so i'll just write deep because i don't have space and then general general and then that interest on fixed deposit remember it's um according to here it's 8270 so you'd have your 8270 here okay now guys when it's like this you need to remember um what you must do this account must be closed off so meaning the balance that we are going to have according to this the steps it says that the balance that we're going to have it must be closed off to our uh, it must be closed off to our capital account okay so let's check between these two sides you can already tell that the credit side will be the bigger side we already have 1 million here so we're going to add um the credit side so if you say 1000 and 1 million and 5000 and then you say plus 6420 and then you also say plus 8270 it is going to give you 1 million and 19000 so i'm going to write that 1 million and nineteen thousand, um, and then let's see what will be that amount. One million and nineteen thousand, um, six hundred and ninety. Okay, so I'm going to put the so same total here. Um, one million and nineteen thousand, um, six hundred and ninety. So whatever that we are going to get here as a balance, we are going to transfer it to our capital account okay we need to transfer that particular profit to, to capital i always advise learners to say work out your profit and loss first before you go back to the general uh general because it on profit and loss it's much more easy for you to figure out uh that extra money that you are going to take to um your general general so let's see so remember guys um, this one million and nineteen thousand is the sum of those three items, right? Now, if we take this and then we say minus all that is on the debit side, minus four hundred and sixty-four thousand, and then we say, okay, let, maybe let me do it like this so that it doesn't give us error. So one million and uh, nineteen thousand. 690 then we say um subtract 464,000 and then we say subtract um 11,996 then we say subtract um 12,480 and then we say subtract a uh, 2,424 and then Maybe let me confirm if that figure is the right one, 2,424. Yeah, it's fine. So now, once you've done this, after then you would say, we then subtract the next one, which is uh, 50,400. So we say minus 50,400. And then you also say minus 14,400. And then you also say uh, minus 5,960. And then you will get the amount that we are going to take to our profit and loss, which is 458,080. So this 458,080 will come here. Um, this 458,080, it will come here. 
do you see now how this is important so now if you look at this um our profit and loss has been uh, debited by capital so which means capital will be credited by profit and loss so we are going to come this side and say um on 2012 um february the 28th we are going to have profit and loss and then in the general journal we are going to write it after this so that 458,000 and date will come here now we need to take this information and transfer it uh, to our general journal so remember we said that we are going to debit profit and loss so we debit um profit and loss and then we credit capital okay and then the amount that we are going to or, or maybe just before we do this um but it's fine the amount that we are going to do is to put is going to be um 458,000 and date so we'd have that 458,000 and date and then the reason for this is that this is a closing transfer so we'll explain that this is a closing transfer okay then you need to make sure that lastly there's a step remember that says that we must close off our drawings to capital so in other words you are going to david capital and then from there you're going to credit your drawings why are we doing this because this is a closing transfer okay and then we then check what is the amount of the drawings from the trial balance the amount for the drawings from the trial balance is uh, 108,000 so this 108,000 will be what comes here okay 108,000 and then from there we have that 108,000 here and then from there you just have to close off this to your to do the general entries in your capital account and then if you look at this we are almost done guys you'll only be left with the post closing trial balance so like i said i'm not going to do it in this lesson so remember what we are going to to do um on the on 2012 um february the 28th we are going to have drawings this side because they must be closed off to capital so this is from the general journal and then the amount is 100 and eight thousand and then from there what you do you close this you get the total now let's see uh, 187,310 187,310 plus uh, 458,000 and it is giving us 645,000 um 645,340 okay so we'd have that 645,340 now obviously these two sides are not the same but they should be the same equal so we'd have um our balance carried down on the 28th of february so meaning that this will be our shortage which will become um in 2012 march the first it will be our balance brought down so remember your balance carried down and brought down must be the same here okay because you're closing for this year is your opening for next year so now what is the difference that we are supposed to get here if we say 645,000. 340 then we say um subtract 108,000 it's going to give us that amount which is 537,340 okay then it will come here 537,340 then we are done with this thank you guys for watching if you have any question you're more than welcome to get in touch with me if you want me to tutor you on a personal level you are more than welcome to get in touch with me so that i can 
arrange with you the fees for that particular personalized lesson um please don't forget to leave your comments on the comment section of this video tell your friends who are doing accounting to also watch this lesson so that we can be able to make a difference in your academic life thank you so much for watching god bless you have a beautiful day shalom